Yes, and uh, before we wrap up uh, this uh, broadcast, let's cross uh, back uh, to our own uh, Hamza Salhut at the Yad Vashem Malikos Memorial Museum. We started a broadcast with you and with uh, Ms. Rena Quint before her meeting with the American president, and she's back with you in the aftermath, Hamda. That's right, Ellie. The U.S. president just leaving the Yad Vashem Holocaust Center. And we actually have here with us Vina Quint. She was there and met the U.S. president. Vina, tell us a little bit about your meeting with the U.S. president. It was really quite amazing and certainly not anything I expected. We were told to stand up when he came in and not to touch him and not to give him anything. And when he came in, he said, you sit down. And he bent down and he asked if he could kiss me. And, and, and then we talked about his first wife. She died in a car accident, his children. And then we talked about his new wife, Jill, and she's busy going out there. And I told him how lucky we are that the United States and Israel is going to be working together. And I was glad to see Gans and Lapid and, and President Herzog all, all together, all in one room. And Rabbi Lau, who comes from Pietrica, the same city, that I came from, and it was just like a reunion, but it was very friendly and very easygoing. I expect it to be very difficult and very uh, stringent, and you know, it wasn't like that at all. And what did you hear from the Israeli leaders alongside the U.S. president? I didn't hear very much from him, except that uh, um, President Herzog said we were neighbors, and he entertains Holocaust survivors, and one of the people who uh, writes of about him very often works with him and he invited me to come to the to the president's house and I'd love to do that. Well, as you can see, just an absolutely remarkable ceremony from the U.S. president here at the Yad Vashem. And now he will go back to the King David Hotel in Jerusalem and tomorrow kick off a very busy schedule where he will meet with Prime Minister yeah. Yair Lapid during the 11 a.m. hour and then have a press conference with him in the next hour.